and and you know one of the things that you mentioned in terms of those the structures that are falling apart let's face it right now we probably have got one of the biggest most profound crises in leadership in our entire history if you look into political leaders and what they're doing it's like a huge mess if you look into religious leaders it's even a worse mess if you look into how different organizations have been operating with certain practices that are now coming out as part of that exercise of brutal openness and transparency that they have been forced to go through, you realize that they have been messing up all along and that there's this massive lack of leadership in terms of looking after the well-being of your people, regardless of what your people would be, whether they're your employees, your citizens, your followers or whatever else. And, um, and that's essentially what's bringing us into, into this particular crisis, which is not necessarily just a financial crisis. It's, it's, it's basically a, a crisis of, of, of principles, of, of ethic, of morale, of, of ethos, or whatever else you want to call it, that go beyond, way beyond whatever happens in, 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 in a financial world, right? And I think that this is, you know, one of the things that we're seeing as well is how for a good number of decades, organizations never had any kind of responsibility towards society. They were just like thinking that they were contributing or whatever else. Well, that's no longer going to be acceptable anymore. More and more, we, you know, just, just as much, just as we are demanding more transparency and openness from governments in terms of, you know, getting asked to participate more from that exercise called democracy, right? Uh, we're going to be doing exactly the same thing with corporations. We're going to start demanding organizations to become more transparent in what they do. And not necessarily in the processes they have, but on the practices they have, right? And the reason for that is because all of a sudden we're going to find out that um, we all have a conscience. And that conscience is, is banging its heads into our heads saying, you're working for the wrong organization. You're actually working for an organization that is doing something that is immoral. Do you really want to go and continue working like that, right? You know, younger generations have got that very, very clear figured out, right? And they rather prefer to work for a company that is open and transparent and is, is capable of transferring some of that decision power making and is, trans is capable of giving them that freedom and autonomy to make a difference with the company, which means that they're open to much more information than traditional organizations have been. And that's helping them understand as well how operations work, right? If you look at some of the companies who are using this kind of metaphor, you can see that they're incredibly successful because they have accelerated the pace on how knowledge shared goes through. And they have also accelerated the pace on what employees do in terms of co-owning or co-sharing that responsibility with the organizations themselves, for that matter.